together. <coughs> Turn them over to the sheriffs. They had the goods from many of the thefts that had occurred in that neighborhood over the past six months. Clark County Sheriff was very happy. Second time I drew a firearm was in Houston, Texas. In my backyard, somebody was trying to break in. They ran. Third time I drew a firearm, the two-time felon with a warrant out for his arrest, high on heroin, methamphetamine, and every sort of opiate known to man, decided he was going to take my gun away. He did not survive that encounter. And for that I am not proud. I'm deeply troubled. But I want you to know, it was my choice to survive. And without the ability to arm myself, I would have been denied, denied that right. And a man half my age would have killed me. I'm 61 years old. I'm not a scrapper. I'm a retired army officer. My best weapon is my mind. There was no negotiating. I was in a life or death struggle. And I want you to know I would do the same thing again. Regrettably. Please do not deny us our rights. You have a greater chance in this state, according to FBI statistics, of being beaten to death by bare hands or strangled. Last year, 2017, there was only one murder by a rifle. One in the whole state of Washington. How many of you were aware of that? One. Stay informed, folks. There's a lot of misinformation out there. Stay educated, stay aware, stay safe, or as we say in the industry, stay frosty, my friends. Thank you, Joey. Okay, uh, before the next guy goes to, also, if there's anyone here who's in opposition of, of 1639, we'd like to hear your points. We'll give you a couple minutes, okay? Come on. I mean, I'm sorry, if there's anyone here who wants to vote yes on 1639. Hey everyone, my name is uh, Skyler Jernigan and uh, I'm actually from the uh, city of uh, Portland, Oregon, which we just had a rally there uh, not too long ago. Yeah, that wasn't very fun. <laughs> so I'm here today to oppose uh, no on, on uh, I-1639, um, basically because uh, I do have some friends and family that live up here in the state of Washington. They're starting to show up now, they're over there behind. Both of them Don't are... Former military. Straight ahead of you. One of them Behind is flag, uh, Army, yeah. four or five and, two. and the other okay. one is a uh, former Marine that would definitely be opposing this. I went to. I went uh, up to Mossy Rock, Washington um, earlier this year because I was doing a sales job. Right, I was doing sales for a company. And uh, I went up to my friend that was a Marine. I saw a lot of guns that he had in his house. And I was just in complete shock and awe. I was just very, very impressed. I, mean, I had heard about his uh, military record. And it was very, very inspiring. I was also going to be going into the United States military when I was, going to, when I was coming out of high school but I can't do that because of me being diabetic. I also do have other military uh, family members that would really like to see this, uh, that would really like to see this initiative just go down the toilet. And frankly, I would too. As far as I know, I don't have any military family that needed to use any weapons that, um, to um, stop any uh, home invasions or anything like that but it's something that we definitely would need to have in case if something like that does happen to us which in 
I'm sure in many of your guys' cases, it probably has at some point. So it's, this is basically just a real piece of garbage, I'd say, that we don't really need as American citizens. It's something that politicians are trying to push on us that we don't need. I mean, what happens when they're going to be pushing for this and this passes? They're going to be going for our knives. They're also going to be going for martial arts schools, believe it or not, because martial arts is a way of self-defense, and the Second Amendment was created with self-defense in mind. So what's going to be stopping them after this passes? Real simple as that. Vote no on 1639. Thank you. What's up? What's up, everybody? Everybody awake? Yeah. Everybody awake? Yeah. Come on, guys. We ain't at a funeral. We're over here to stand up for our rights. Make some noise for America! Yeah. All right, everybody. For those of you guys that do not know who I am, uh, my real name is Tusi Tala John Tuafo'aleo Tuni Langi Toise. That's why everybody called me Tiny or the big boy Tiny. Um, 22 years old. I uh, was born and raised in the island of American Samoa. Uh, moved there 2014 and uh, you know fell in love with America and the freedom we have and it's it's kind of sad seeing our uh, our government trying to attack um, you know trying to rage war on our Constitution and our rights our God-given rights it's really sad and that is why it's important for people to come out and take a stand you know it's important for you to rise up and make your voice be heard because what the government is trying to do right now, they're trying to turn, they're trying to, to make criminals out of law-abiding citizens. They're trying to make bad people out of good people. And that's by attacking your rights. That's by trying to shut down our Second Amendment. Like Joey Gibson already said, you know, this is one of the biggest military we have in the United States. Not because of the man and in uniform but because of the law-abiding citizens and we the people whatever happened to come and take it whatever happened to that our forefather did not just give up their right they fired the first shot and that's the message we're going to deliver today by coming out here and taking a stand we're going to tell our elected officials that if you want it you can come and take it you can come and take it you can kick in my door but you're going to have to pull it first because we ain't scared. Enough is enough. I would understand if this, if martial law already broke out and that this is the shit that happens. But what they're doing is they're trying to take away their rights so they can control you. They started with attacking the First Amendment. Now they're moving on to the second. So the question is, what's next? And when is it going to be over? When is it going to stop? It's not going to stop until they clean up every single right that you have and they can, they, they, they came full control of you. That's why you ought to take a stand. It doesn't matter if it's a rifle or handgun or whatever. They can come up with stupid excuse all they want. All I say is you keep the change, we'll keep our right. We don't want it. And I said this our first Second Amendment rally in Seattle. The only reason why we carry guns is because I can't carry a cop with me. That's the reason why. See how big them mobiles are? They too big for me to carry around. I may be a big boy, but I can't carry one cop around with me. And it takes them, what, 10 minutes, depending on traffic, to get to where the, the situation is going on? But if I have a gun on me, I can pop a criminal straight right there and end the threat. Doesn't matter if I have a rifle. As long as it does the job, that's it. There's a reason why our forefathers said, shall not be infringed. Shall not be infringed. And that's the message we're going to send today to the elected official that you shall not tread on our rights. Amen. Our rights is our rights. And if you want it, it ain't, we ain't going out without a fight. We're going to take a stand today. If they want to shut down and keep the message away from the students of Clark Co uh, College, we're going to come out every single week and they can shut it down every single week until you decide to let the kids come out and stop brainwashing them. Because we ain't our country without our freedom. We did not get to the point we're at. We did not get to the point we're at if it wasn't for our guns. If it wasn't for our guns. 
So we're going to send that message. We're going to tell them, try and come and take it. Fuck around and find out, and you can see what's going to happen. God bless America. All right, let's hear it for Big Boy Tiny. Okay, so he had some really good points there. One of the things that is important to me is that we got to wake people up. We have too many people that are sleeping. We have too many conservatives, constitutionalists, libertarians who are sleeping. They've been staying at home for far too long. We have too many people who are waiting for someone else to step up. But you can't do that anymore. We got to begin to take this state back. I don't care if it's Clark College, WSU, whatever it is, up and down I-5, but we got to get people registered to vote who believe in freedom, okay? So what we're going to do here next is, is, is if, unless there's someone else that has something to say quickly, we're going to pack up, we're going to go down to the, uh, the overpass, okay? We're going to have our signs, make sure tons of traffic, they see us, we'll play music. Tiny's a good MC. He's really good. He's really talented, okay? Um... Okay, give me one second. I'm, I'm excited for your question. Give me one second, okay? So, here's the thing, though. I want to make sure, whether you guys go march with us or not, down to the overpass, I'm going to ask you, please, we need as many people as possible to show up to WSU Vancouver as possible. Because when we spread out, they don't see us as some scary group. You spread out and you go out and you talk to students. You hand them the information. We need those students to vote. If they're not registered to vote, they got to go down to the clerk and make sure they are registered to vote, okay? Question. I'm a Clark student and I have a question. Why are you so associated with hatred and violence that my school has to shut down sure. for you to have free speech? Okay, so what, what have I said that's, that's hateful? Um, well, you haven't, but you've talked about it. I'm a 60-year-old 60, 60 person. Mm -hmm. I've never had to draw a gun, and I'll tell you now that the Me Too movement's out. There's a lot of men in my past that are pretty glad I wasn't open carry. Yeah, me too, all right. Hey, let's talk about the Me Too movement. Great point. Amen to that. The Me well, Too movement is people who are being raped. Women should have a right to defend themselves with a firearm. Am I am I wrong or am I right? Maybe you won't maybe that's a thing. Women should be able to defend themselves. They don't have to worry about men who are two times bigger than them, overpowering them and raping them. Then we won't have this problem. Next thing, you say that I say hateful things, correct? Do you assume that? Well, I just know, I want to know why you're so associated what about with the hatred and violence that you guys have you, to I mean, shut down what the my school for free speech. Yes. So, so have you ever heard, have you ever heard me say anything yes. hateful? Yeah. We watch your Facebook yeah. and So what have I said that's hateful? Oh, that you want to do it just to shut it down school so you can get attention for bigotry to make its way. What do you no, do I said I want to come here and What do you do for a living? I said I want to come here and talk to you. What do you do for a living? Wait, okay, so we, hold on. So, we'll talk about that. So are we going to admit that I've never said anything hateful? No, we're not. But you just have no examples. What, have you got any examples of anybody else saying anything hateful? Uh, I'm not saying you're, I'm not claiming that you're hateful. Well, well, I didn't ask if you were hateful. I said, why are you so associated with hatred and violence? Like what? And my school has like to what? shut like, down. Proud boy. What about it? Because you are trying to bring back America to a place it never was. Sir, I am. All right. I'm a proud girl. I'm American. Good. Amen. Democrat. She's probably got more balls Democrat. than you do. Okay, any more questions? What do I do? I'm a real estate investor. So. Yeah, right. That's not even... That's not what real? And when we get rid of the criminal in the White House, we can talk. Oh, who's a criminal? Okay. Okay. You know what we go about? Thank you for because coming this is talking. America! Yeah. We are standing down! So they can bring us yeah. over this they want, but it ain't gonna stop us from coming here. It's all right! And we can go anywhere we want. You say you don't believe in borders, but you wanna keep us out of school? You wanna keep us out of school? No, and guess what? As long as it's American right soil, I'll be on it. And I'll be speaking anytime I want. So you can shut down a school all you want, but you ain't shutting our free speech down. You ain't shutting our Second Amendment out. So God bless America, and have a good day. We'll see you on Wednesday. We'll see you on Wednesday. We'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you for coming and talking to me. This is what it's about. This is what we want. Okay, we'll see you on Wednesday. Amen. Thank you for coming today. Why you So we can talk to people like we're talking to you. They, don't, they didn't want to be here in the first okay, place, so why you gotta come back? Who is they? The school that shut down so they don't have to deal with you. Oh, you oh, I'll tell you right now. I'm a Clark student as well, and I live in here. I'm a veteran. I want to be a veteran. USA! USA! Trump! Fuck Trump! USA! Fuck Trump! Is that all you gotta say? It's just fuck Trump? All you gotta say is USA! Is that all? Is that all? Are those the only words you can come up with?
Do you run out of facts? You didn't hear the fucking words because you were yelling USA. What, 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 what